Over 500,000 children experienced life in an orphanage, foster home or institution during the last century in Australia. 7,000 were child migrants from Britain or Malta. 50,000 were Aboriginal, the stolen generation. The rest, over 400,000, were Australian-born, non-Indigenous children. These survivors of the institutional care system are the forgotten Australians. You weren't treated like human beings, you were just treated like a number. It should never have happened to be taken away from your family and put in care 12,000 miles away in itself is a criminal act. I did grow up thinking that, you know, who would want me? Most of these children didn't understand why they were there. Some had a parent who died or became very ill. With no pension for single parents, the children were placed in state care. Children were also put into care if parents were considered unfit by the state. Imagine if this was your child. They split up families. Um, they took siblings away from each other because of age differences or because of uh, gender separation. I used to beg them, please, can I go? And they'd say, no, because your brother's there and it's not, it won't be good for him if he were to see you. In 2004, the Australian Senate held an inquiry into the experience of children who were placed in state or church care. The committee received 614 submissions. Overwhelmingly, they are tragic and distressing reading. They tell of neglect, of shocking abuse, of predatory behaviour from so-called carers, and of criminal activity. If you badly harm a child, you will have decades of a badly harmed adult to cope with. For many forgotten Australians, this was the first time they had spoken out about their abuse. I never learned to talk until the Senate inquiry. My voice used to come to here, but it could never come out my mouth because I got punished. The Senate inquiry led to a national apology in 2009. We come together today to deal with an ugly chapter in our nation's history. And we come together today to offer our nation's apology. The national apology was a very important day for many forgotten Australians. They needed to hear that the country recognised the pain and the trauma and the abuse that they suffered. Know this, we believe you. Telling their story and being believed and respected is the beginning of a process of recovery. If you hurt a child, you hurt that child for the rest of their life. And there's great consequences. The way your life has panned out now, you, you just find it very difficult to trust anyone. So often a forgotten Australian that goes into a Centrelink office and someone speaks down to them or just ignores them, they just flare off, you know, they can't handle that. That's how they were treated as children. Service providers see forgotten Australians every day dealing with mental health issues, homelessness, drug abuse. They are in health services and aged care facilities. They may be the person who won't sleep with the door closed, who won't eat certain foods, or who won't wait in line. Look beneath, every symptom has a story. The reason we collect stories and the reason we study history is so that certain periods of history will not be repeated. So have we learned anything in the last century? We have. We must do better. I will fight for justice for those that have never had justice. You do find people, you know, that access the services and get their teeth fixed and they can smile and not be ashamed. People need many more services. There's a long road to go. We, as a nation, currently have around 35,000 children in out-of-home care. We have to think hard about that about what we want as a society 
for the next generation of children. It's really important in the Schumann services that there be many more people from lived experience uh, within the field. Well, see, the most important thing for any child is family. That's what I think Forgotten Australians remind us. The memorials that we have across the country are an absolute recognition of the history, the lives, the survival, so that uh, you know, we learn from the mistakes from the past. <laughs>